Well, I've just returned from the Pole Station 4, where I've put my little cross on a piece of paper and then put it in the Xbox. I voted for the Liberal Demon Cats, a party that integrates itself with the highest level of government. But at the end of a long campaign I'm a little bit fed up with all of this talk about the general election. So today's subject is the general election. So that's it. For me, the election is over. Well, my election was over at 10 o'clock when I went and voted today. But there's been little else talked about all day. Every politician seems to be worrying about the exit polls, except for Nigel Farage, whose policy it is. As I entered the polling station, I asked where to go. Just uh, down that corridor and swing to your left, said the guy. I wonder if he's trying to tell me something. Polling was pretty uneventful, really. You just get given some pieces of paper, you put a cross in a box. Um, I'm surprised there's not an app for it already, actually. Some sort of political GPS. Turn right into more austerity, or left for crippling national debt. If you'd like to vote Lib Dems, do a U-turn where possible. So it's been a very odd time in UK politics, one that's seen Ed Miliband come down like Moses from Mount Sinai carrying a big tablet. Vote for me and you won't get a plague of boils because we won't destroy the NHS before Labour campaign chiefs had to admit that actually he might not be able to keep all of those promises. Now, now you say that they're, they're not set in stone, it's just it's dry wipe marker so we can take them off if we want to. I mean it's a bit like Moses coming down from the mountain and saying, People of Israel, I've spoken with God, but I, he's given me these ten immutable laws. And then God piping up. Actually, no. Can we make it nine? That love thy neighbour stuff. I've just had this complete arse moved in next door. Nine, Lord, are you sure? It would make both the tablets uneven. We'd, we'd have a space at the bottom of one of them. Oh, well then, leave it for now. Maybe we can change it later. Television is no escape from the endless election coverage that we've had. In fact, we seem to have had more election specials than we did Christmas specials this year. I'm surprised we didn't see Morecambe and Wise turn up at some point and have a special East Enders election special where, where Sharon votes Lib Dem and then finds out they've been sleeping with Tory. And the same is true tonight. E4 is actually shutting down so that people will go out and vote. This has led to calls for it to shut down permanently so that people don't have to watch it. Although some have pointed out that being brought up on E4 would actually drastically reduce your child's tuition fees, because they'd be too stupid to go to college. The other channels are planning whole evenings of election coverage from BBC One and ITV, which, which are just covering the election. Channel 4 has an alternative election with um, David Mitchell and Jeremy Paxman. I'm not sure how that's going to go down, but we'll see. Personally, I'm going to miss it all. And the reason I'm going to miss it all is because Actually, at this point, it doesn't make any sense. The polls close at 10 o'clock tonight. So until 10 o'clock tonight, we're not going to know anything at all, ever. The first announcements tend to be very early in the morning, so 1, 2 o'clock-ish. Well, that's not going to tell us anything but the first ones to report. Uh, we won't know anything until all of the ballots are counted, and that'll be coming on for sort of 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning when the, the news starts up again. So I don't really see the point in staying up all night to watch as these seats come in. We'll have some idea who's going to be the, the next Prime Minister tomorrow morning. But until then, for me, that's it. The election's done. We've all voted. We've all had a great time. Uh, we've all laughed at Ed and David and uh, who's the other one? Nick. And I voted Lib Dem. I mean, you know. Anyway, when we wake up tomorrow morning, somebody else will be running the country. Or the same person will be running the country. We don't know. We probably won't know tomorrow morning. We don't really know until everything's finally counted and, you know. I mean, it's entirely possible that we'll get a three-way split, a complete 30%, um, 30%, 30%, and then the rest divided between the other parties. We don't know. So it's kind of pointless speculating. What I'm basically saying is that this video that you've watched is actually completely pointless. Damn it. That's my opinion anyway. Let me know yours by leaving a comment below. You can like, share, comment and subscribe. That's what you do on, on YouTube. Uh, or you can follow us at Burnt Papyrus on uh, Twitter and forward slash Burnt Papyrus on Facebook. If you want to connect with me personally, I'm at Steve underscore Mella on Twitter and I'd be really, really happy to hear from any and all of you. Until next time, I hope we don't wake up tomorrow with some sort of lizard running the country. I mean, it's entirely possible.
Of course, it's also entirely possible that we wake up and find out that the biggest majority was won by Pudsey the dog, but never mind. Bye all.